press the button and then push. This is the M12 Palm Nailer. I got the whole kit. Comes in a soft case with a zipper on it. They give you the tool, the charger, a battery, some instructions. The battery goes in the bottom like that. Power reading is on the side and to get that, you just have to press the button. So we got full charge here. This has a little LED light on the bottom, which is nice. As far as nail capacity, we can go from 60 up to 16 D on this collet. And there's a magnet in here and that's what holds the actual nail. So when we put that nail in there, it's not gonna fall out anywhere. This gives us 2.2 pounds of impact blow. It has the red link system in this, so you can't overwork the tool, which is really, really nice. It's not the smallest when it comes to palm nailers. On the back, there is an on off here. Okay, that's, that's sort of your safety. So that's off. So when I press the button, nothing's going to happen. And then when we press on, slide that over. Now when I press the button, it'll turn on. It's got a nice strap up here for your hand. Like that. It's adjustable with Velcro. So when you're nailing with the palm nailer, first thing you want to do is take your nail and put it in the hole. It's going to stick onto that magnet. So then when we're going to start putting it down, just press the button and then push. And that's how it goes in. So this is the kind of tool that does have some pretty good vibration to it. And you don't really want to be using this all day. Because I think it would really start to kind of wear on your hand. This is a lot more violent, I guess, in, as far as vibrations go, compared to an air tool. The pneumatic ones just are faster. They have more of an impact than the battery operated one. So that's something to keep in mind. The main reason, again, why I bought this is just portability and I don't have to set up a compressor and air hoses and all that. Now let's try 10D. All right, big one. So pretty good. This is a joist hanger and this is what we use to hang our joists. So you would mount this onto a ledger or a wall or whatever you're supposed to be doing and you would put your nails in. Where this comes in handy, some people are like, oh, I'll just use a hammer. But where it comes in handy is with these small nails, if you're required to use the 10 Ds on the side, when you're holding the nail like this, you can see that I don't have a lot of room. But a lot of the times when you're hammering, you can smash your finger. If you hold it like this or whatever, you can slip. These nails sometimes will spring out at you and you might hit your, your finger with your, your hammer. So that's why palm nailers kind of came along to make this just a little bit easier because this allows us to sort of get in here no problem and hammer it in. So my fingers are totally out of the way. Let's bash this in on the side. So these, these direct your nail at an angle. I can't shoot this straighter or more that way. It's just gotta be on this angle. You can kind of see how they're an extreme 45 degree angle. Very handy tool to have. I'm super stoked that I have this now. Uh, really put it through the paces this season for decking because we've got a lot of decks to build and uh, it's just gonna make our job really, really quick and easy because I can't stand hoses and cords and all that. Until next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.